Hello there, my name's Matt Gamble. I haven't shaved today because I'm lazy. And this is G Tech. Now, I don't know if you've seen the adverts or not, but I picked up on the one for the BlackBerry Playbook. Why? Well, let me demonstrate. What's so special about web browsing on the new BlackBerry Playbook? Flash. That's right, it runs Flash. So, unlike some tablets we could mention, you get the best of the internet, not just part of it. It has Flash! That's right, the BlackBerry Playbook is one of the first tablet PC devices to fully support Flash 10.1. And actually, the reason I picked up on this advert is merely because it made me laugh. Which, to be fair, is just a general stab at the Apple iPad. And I don't know, it just, it just made me chuckle when I first saw the advert. So anyway, let's get techie. The BlackBerry Playbook has a 7-inch LCD screen with a 1024 by 600 screen resolution. It has a dual-core 1GHz processor inside it. It also has things like GPS support and USB ports, and can have up to 64GB of storage. That's a heck of a lot of space. And it also has dual cameras, one on the front and one on the back, to uh, support video chat and obviously film things. So that's the BlackBerry Playbook for you. Now, I'm not usually a fan of Blackberries because I think um, people make a stupid mistake of getting them for the phone. But this looks pretty nice and I'm going to probably try and find a way to give it a go. Maybe run into PC World or something and, and uh, get my hands on one. If you've got one or if you've seen one, uh, let me know what you think and uh, what you think of the advert. Again, it made me chuckle, so... Let me know your thoughts. Now if I said Little Blue Hedgehog to you, I really hope you'd go straight towards thinking of this guy instead of some weird avatar slash smurf related hedgehog fantasy you might have. But anyway, it is of course Sonic's 20th anniversary, um, so well done for being around that long and uh, having such an impact into mine and hopefully everyone else's lives. And uh, there's there's been so many great things coming out of the Sonic franchise. Um, whether it's been the original Sonics or um, one of my favourites being Mean Bean Machine and of course some of the new gen of Sonic games including Sonic Riders, Sonic Adventure <laughs> and clearly not forgetting Sega's All-Star Racing but one thing I am uh, most excited about is that because of the 20th anniversary Sega are releasing the one and only Sonic Generations which is going to take the Sonic 3D elements and uh, combine them with the classic Sonic so you'll be able to switch back and forth from classic and 3D Sonic. Now I hope the 2D stuff is going to be better than Sonic 4 because I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I found the controls to be a bit clunky. You know, Sonic should be pretty seamless and uh, that game wasn't seamless. But anyway, excitement, new Sonic game, ah, yay! Happy birthday Sonic. Call me nostalgic or whatever, but um, this is one of the best pieces of news I think I've heard in a long time and uh, if you've never heard of a game called Time Splitters, where have you been? It was by far the best first person shooter to hit the previous generation consoles. Time for a little backstory, if you didn't know, Time Splitters 4 had been announced back in 2007. However, unfortunately, Free Radical Design, the company that made the three previous games, went into administration. And then along came Crytek to rescue the company. And Free Radical Design are now formally known as Crytek UK. So this is about 2007, 2008 time. So why hasn't there been a Time Splitters game? Well, for some stupid reason, Crytek decided that they would focus more of their time on their flagship game, which will not be named, and not put any focus on Time Splitters 4. And so the chances of Time Splitters 4 ever being developed slowly declined more and more every year. Until now, because generic, relatively reliable rumours state that the Xbox 720 will be heading our way next year, most likely to be announced at E3, as they always do. Even more so though, Crytek have been rumoured to be focusing some of their time on the uh, Time Splitters team, so Splitters fans and Cortez fans alike it's good news. The details on the news story are below. Check it out. It gives more specific detail into the rumours um, and lets you really understand the situation. And um, I'm just ridiculously happy right now. So on that note, here's today's question. If you've ever played it, who was your favourite Time Splitters character? And if you haven't, who is your all-time favourite first-person shooter character? And that's it for GTEC this week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, the subscribe button up there for more videos from us. Other than that, thank you for watching. I've been Matt Gamble, and this, well, this has been GTEC.